Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Mr. G, Mr. Giles, and I have a tutorial for you. And what you're about to see is how to get rid of uh, like a, a solid background, in this case, a green screen that we took photos in front of, um, how to delete all of that and get yourself an image that you can add, put things behind. So I'm gonna start back at the very beginning here so you can see my process. One, import your picture into paint.net. Um, that's as simple as having the folder where an image is. In this case, it's right here. And I just drag it over and you see a little plus sign and you drop it in and I say open. It's just open a second one. I'll just close the first one. Don't save. Okay, so now I've got that. I'm gonna duplicate my picture because it's a picture. I'm gonna be working on it. In case I make a mistake, I'm making a duplicate. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna call that uh, safety. That's my safety picture. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't want that layer on. I don't wanna see it, but I want it there in case I make a mistake, I need to go back, okay? So now I am adding my, uh, deleting my background. So I'm gonna select the magic wand tool and yours is probably set to 50% tolerance. And you're gonna see that it's not selecting, it's actually selecting part of my face. So if I were to hit the delete key, not the backspace key, the delete key, I'm gonna delete most of my face. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna hit Control Z. I'm gonna change the tolerance to a lower number and click again. Okay, so you can see that it's clearly not picking my head. So I'm gonna hit the delete, get rid of a lot of that. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna increase the tolerance a little more, a little more, a little too much. So I'm gonna go lower and I'm gonna keep doing that and making sure that I'm not deleting my uh, you know, the area around my head too much. So you're gonna see there's little bits of green left, but it's pretty good. Nice. That, that, that got rid of most of my, uh, most of it. Now, I'm gonna add another layer underneath. This is gonna help me see how much green is left. I'm just gonna fill this area with white. So I'm gonna flip flop my colors there. So that's white and I'm gonna click and see I've got layer three selected. See, now you can see what's left. So to take care of that, I'm gonna use the eraser tool. Right, there's a couple ways you can do this, okay? I'm gonna make a nice big eraser, like much bigger. Depending on how big your picture is, that's too big. Maybe half of that. Okay, so I'm gonna, oops, control Z. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right layer, which is this, the picture. And I'm gonna just start erasing that. Now, another way you can do this, uh, some people like to do this, is you use a lasso selection or a square selection. It doesn't matter. When you select something and then you hit the delete key, you can delete everything that's within that selection. It's nice for things that are a little hard to get to. I'm, I'm gonna zoom in for this last part. I'm gonna use the, the zoom in feature here and I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can. Oh, too close. Okay, well, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna clean this up as best I can. I might go with a smaller eraser and um, I'm gonna just I'm not, I'm not going for absolutely perfect. If you set your hardness to a 75 or 50, you see it's like a softer edge. I might do that around the outside just to, and if I, I'm gonna let go of my mouse button frequently, I'm not gonna hold it permanently because um, if you click, the more you click, the more you can, you can undo those little things, like that right there, Control Z. So I only had to redo my ear. If I had just held on and erased like, you know, for like five minutes, and I made a mistake, I would lose everything I had already done. And I'm not worried that this isn't perfect, it's okay. I'm just gonna get, you know, close as I can. If I see any other major uh, little um, pieces on the screen, I'm gonna zoom back out here now. I'm gonna look and see if I see anything else that's obvious. It looks pretty good, it looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna turn that off. So there you go. Now I have an image that I can work with. It's like making my own custom PNG. And then I'm gonna add backgrounds to that, do other things with it. 